for years now, Rundu has been going for days without water due to non-payment. Can you perhaps just shed uh, some light on the background as to how this situation came about? Thank you very much for this opportunity to address the Namibian nation on the situation of water in Rundu. About 12 to 13 years ago, our engineers produced a report to upgrade the water treatment plant in Rundu. It had cost associated with it. Unfortunately, at the time, Nam Water did not have the money to pay for that treatment plant, and the government was also not in a position to assist us. So we kept on uh, patching up in order to supply water. Now, in the meantime, yeah. the town council was also not paying for its water. Uh, because if they were paying, that was going to give us encouragement actually to put up that treatment plan. Mm. We have signed a number of repayment agreements with the town council, about three. And every time we sign, the agreement is honored for two, three, four months, and then the town council lapsed. And in the meantime, our debt was growing, and that's why we were forced to install a bulk prepaid meter. Now, on the part of the debt growing, why would NAM Water then allow for the debt to go or to balloon to the level of six, 60 uh, million as to where it is now? I mean, before instituting prepaid arrangements. I mean, could this not be constituted as NAM Water then abusing its monopolistic position? Uh, in actual fact, I would not argue that it is abusing its monopolistic position because if we really wanted to abuse that, we could have actually kept that water closed for much, much uh, longer. Uh, what we have done, we have recognized that water is an essential commodity, water is life, and actually people cannot do without it. And we have tried to convince the Rundu Town Council to pay for its water bill. Uh, we have negotiated, we have talked, we have cajoled. Uh, the response was negative. And that is really why we ended up where we are with the debt that has grown. In the end, we then had to cut our losses mm -hmm. and we decided to install the prepaid meter so that the issue of water supply to the town council was then put in the hands of the town council itself. Now, Dr. Shivuti, in your view, is there any possibility that the council will be able to service its debt plus interest? Take into consideration that this is a town that has a turnover of about six million. Uh, uh, the Rundu town is one of the fastest growing towns in Namibia. The skyline of Rundu has changed if you actually go back uh, uh, five, uh, ten years ago. So we have made our own assessment about the status and condition of the town. And we are convinced that the town has the capacity to pay. The money is there in Rundu to pay for the water bills. I think what is lacking or what has been lacking is really the capacity to collect that money from the consumers, from the businesses, from the household, pay their water bills, and then pay Nam Water to enable it to keep on supplying the water. And, and if they can manage to do that, I, I can assure you that that, uh, that uh, capability is there. I am aware that uh, I think as of late, they have been trying to do that. I am aware of effort that actually, that are currently uh, uh, undergoing to mm -hmm. try and address that situation, but they have left it for too long. In the meantime, we are in the situation where we are today. Now, Doctor, just before we let you go, what is NAM Water intending to do as the dis I mean, taking into consideration that the disconnection has health implications for institutions such as hospitals. We've got schools that have hostels and, and so forth. And taking into consideration those particular institutions, what is the NAM, NAM Water stance on them? I think uh, uh, normally uh, when uh, we have institutions such as hospitals, schools, uh, hostels and so on, we do make a special provision to ensure that these institutions are actually supplied uh, with water. But coming back to the situation itself within Rundu, 
I, I, at this point in time, I do not think that this is just a numb water issue. This is a situation that needs to be addressed at the national level. Mm -hmm. This is an, a situation where uh, government uh, need to come in and also uh, assist NAM water to help address the situation. So uh, the government, NAM water, and the Rundu Town Council must actually come together and then discuss and agree how to resolve this situation.